All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back again with another video and back again with another wrinkle shirt because I am staying on brand. Uh, so in this video, I want to talk about uh, the Sony CFO, Hiroki Totoki, um, and his statement that he released that is in, that is in relation to the uh, Sony Financial Quarterly uh, report that was uh, just released, I think, a few days ago. You know, everybody's release releasing their financial reports. And his statement has started a big conversation on Twitter. And pretty much it, um, it backs up the statements that Jim Ryan had said, uh, you know, I forgot when it was, a few months ago about uh, the subscription services just not being sustainable for PlayStation and it would impact uh, the quality of their games uh, in a negative fashion. It would be a detriment to how PlayStation develops their games, right? And right now, it's a huge topic on Twitter. And right now, and let me obviously read the report first. So he says, I will, I will refrain from making comments on the competitor's strategy. Our, our thinking is to have development costs slash uh, appropriate R&D investments for quality products, and that will improve the platform and also improve the business in the long run. AAA uh, type titles on PS5, if we distribute that on subscription services, we may need to shrink the investment needed for that, and that will deteriorate the first party uh, title quality, and that is our concern. So we want to make sure we spend the appropriate development costs to have solid products and titles to be introduced in the right manner, end quote. That's what he said. And right now, people on Twitter, some, you know, agreeing with this, some debating against it. My Here's my thing, right? Our subscription services, um, the future of the industry, is it the profitable thing right now? You know, is it something that Sony should do? Is is it right for them? Would it impact their games? Right. That's what that's the real thing people are debating, uh, you know, against his statement and what Jim Ryan said months ago. And you know what my answer is? I don't know. I don't know. Right. I have no idea. You know why? Because I'm not a CFO. I'm not a financial expert in any way, form, or fashion. I'm terrible with numbers. I'm good enough with numbers that I can calculate my bills, you know, my monthly bills, and, uh, you know, I, can, I, I know how much money I got in the bank, and, you know, I know how much money I got saved up and in my 401k and, and my Roth and all, and all that stuff, right? I know enough, enough about money and enough about math that I'm able to sustain my lifestyle. That's how much I know about math, but I've always been terrible, terrible with actual like mathematics and, and, and all those and all those things that they teach you in school. By the way, 90 percent of the math they teach you in school is absolutely, absolutely useless. I've never met anybody in my life that's that's needed to use the Pythagorean theorem. I can't believe they taught you that nonsense. I, I actually remember. I think it was what was it, maybe seventh grade, and that's when they started to teach you variables and improper fractions. Once they started teaching that shit, and they was like A equals six and B equals 42, listen, I was like, listen, y'all lost me when you're telling me that letters equal numbers. That's when math started to make no sense to me. I was, t oh, I, since then I've been terrible, you know, uh, with, when it comes to math in school. When I got to college, I picked a major so that I would only have to take one math class, and that was journalism and communication, right? So I stick to what I know, and I know what I'm bad at, right? And I know that I'm not qualified to speak against what a CFO says. Here's my thing, right? I'm not saying execs are right, are always right. I'm not saying that, you know, execs don't spin things or embellish things or, you know, finesse the wording of, of things or even flat out lie in the way they can. What I'm saying is when you have a lack of somebody who knows any better and you have an actual experienced expert that has numbers, metrics, analytics, and all those things, how are you going to argue against that? 
That's my you on, on Twitter right now, you have a whole bunch of armchair CEOs, CFOs with their business, with their uh, degree from the Twitter Business University. That's what's going on right now. People who think they know more than a CFO. Listen, if the, the Microsoft CFO says they can do Game Pass, they can do the subscription model and they can have their games go day and date to Game Pass and be completely fine and be completely you know, sustainable. You know, you know what? I believe him. You know why? Because he knows a lot more about math than me. I never been a CFO. I've never been nothing close to a CFO. I'm terrible at math. Okay. That guy's that guy knows a lot more than me when it comes to numbers. Same thing with the place that with the Sony CFO. He's been doing this for 30 plus years. 30 years ago, I was shitting in the diaper. I'm not going to argue with a man that was literally probably managing a bank when I was learning how to count to three. I'm not going to argue with that man. You got people literally on Twitter crunching simplistic numbers saying, oh, well, this and this and multiply this and this and this. And well, see, it works. Well, if being a CFO was was as simple, was so simple that you can do the math on Twitter, wouldn't everybody be a CFO? Why, why, why isn't everybody on Twitter a CFO then? Listen, if 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 y'all going to start making these claims I'm going to need to start seeing some business degrees, some certificates, some MBAs. I need to see something, some something of merit that shows that you are qualified, that you have the credentials to speak on billion or trillion dollar businesses and corporations. Because as far as I know, you're just some random name on Twitter, on the Internet, claiming that you know something when you don't know shit. I'm sorry. I'm just not going to believe You, some random dude on Twitter over a CFO. Like I said, I believe the Microsoft, what the Microsoft CFO says works for Microsoft. I believe what the Sony CFO says works for Sony. What I don't believe is you motherfuckers on Twitter thinking that you know more than either one of them. You don't have more experience than them. Than them. You don't have more knowledge than them. You don't have more back actual behind the scenes numbers, metrics than them. N- numbers lie. I mean, women lie. Men lie. Numbers don't. So I'm not believing you motherfuckers. I'm just not. And I can't believe there are people arguing against a CFO. Like I said, it's not like these execs don't lie or twist things, right? And... I'm not saying that they're never wrong, but until you have evidence that they are actually wrong, what else can you do but believe them? When there is somebody more smarter than you, more knowledgeable than you, and more experienced than you, what else can you do but go by their word and what they say? Until we have evidence otherwise of what they say, solid proof, how are you going to argue with them? I just, that's the part I just don't understand. I don't, and that's the, that's what kind of bothers me about people on Twitter. Listen, y'all don't have, it's okay to say you don't know. It's okay to say you're not an expert. You know what I consider myself an expert in? I consider myself an expert in knowing if a game is good or bad. That's the only thing you're going to ever hear me brag about. That I'm good at games and I'm a good judge of, good judge of his, of his, of if a game is good or bad, but y'all on Twitter want to be an expert of of everything. You just want to be a, 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 you know, a business expert, a financial expert, you know, the expert in, 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 in gaming politics, not even gaming. It's just weird to me, man. I I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Like why, why are y'all like this? Why are y'all like this, man? It's okay to say you don't know. Refer, defer to the experts. Let the experts handle this. If they say it works, then it works. If they say it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. And some may say, well, BG, you know, what's the difference between some a random person on Twitter, you know, de- debating what a CFO sa- says and a game developer arguing what, you know, you consider is a, is a good game or not a good game? Simple. A good game or a bad game is for the most part subjective. Numbers are objective. 
You can't argue numbers. And you know what a CFO was a professional of? Numbers. So I'm not going to argue with that man. That's what he says. And that's what he says. And that's, and that's what it is. And I don't know why people can't accept that. I don't know why when the, mo when, when the majority of the industry is not doing a subscription service and putting their games day one, right, into that subscription service, why some people can't accept that if the majority of the industry is not doing it, maybe it's not the future. I'm not saying it's not. But I'm saying, I don't know how some people are just completely jumping out the window and saying, this is the way. We don't know. We truly don't know yet, right? Because what I see is the leaders of the gaming industry, which historically the most successful, if you want to look at Microsoft, Nintendo, and PlayStation, the big three, the most successful have... Uh, the most successful are Nintendo and PlayStation. Those are the most successful ones. Xbox, Microsoft has been the least successful in the gaming division. It just is what it is. That can be proven by hardware sold, software sold, whatever metric you want to use. Nintendo and PlayStation are the leaders. So I don't understand this obsession when the leaders who are Nintendo and PlayStation aren't doing it, why those who I guess are fans of the Xbox console think that PlayStation and Nintendo need to follow their suit? What PlayStation and, and Nintendo is doing is clearly successful for them. And once again, I'm not a, a pro at numbers, but the numbers that I do understand shows that, backs that up, that what they're doing is successful. And there are also numbers that show that what Microsoft is doing with Xbox, with Game Pass, is successful right now. We don't know about the long term. It's a wait and see approach. And, once, and, and that's the other thing. I don't see what's the problem. If Nintendo and PlayStation don't want to do it right now, there's no, there's no problem with a wait and see approach to see the long term effects and test it out. And then they can easily pivot into doing a subscription service uh, with games day one if they want. What's the problem? It's 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 very strange to me. It's it's very strange. Simply, simply this. Right. I'm just going to end it right there. I just don't know how some of you are going to argue with a CFO. I'm not saying either way that subscription services are the future or that they're that they're not going to work. If you want to bring up other subscription services, uh, you know, such as Spotify, Netflix, Hulu, and obviously, as we know, there are things that that point to these things are not necessarily successful and are struggling because of the high amount of subscription services they need to be profitable and really, really successful. And that's amplified. You could argue that that's amplified with games because games are more expensive. I just don't see how you can definitively say yes or no in either direction. But what I do know is the experts have spoken and the rest of you need to shut the fuck up because y'all have never been CFOs. Y'all have never been CEOs. Y'all have never even ran a small business. So shut the hell up. All you armchair experts on, on Twitter, if y'all were really that smart, if y'all were smarter than a, than a CEO, y'all wouldn't be arguing in some, com, in some thread on Twitter. You would be in a boardroom. You would be a, a highly sought after person that somebody wants wants you to watch over their money and handle their, their, mo their money, but you're not. All you are is just somebody on Twitter with, a, with an opinion. You, you don't have any you know, solid knowledge that you know, know any better than any of the rest of them. And that's okay. What's not okay is when you pretend to know more than a CFO or these highly qualified people. 
That's weird. It's odd. Okay? That's it. No, just know your lane and stay in it, bro. That's it. You know, like it, it's 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 like if somebody who's a random person, well, I can't even say like we, we've seen that, but we've seen that with the pandemic, with people telling doctors, you know, people with no medical degree telling doctors, you know, what the what what COVID-19 really is. We've seen people argue with people who went to medical school for eight year, eight to 10 years and stuff like that. So I can't even say we haven't seen that. All of you are insane. That's my point. Um, let me know what y'all think about this, man. Um, hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter if you're not. It's absolutely insanity in these streets. People thinking they know more than CFOs who've been in this space and doing this job for 30 plus years have no know all about these numbers, metrics, analytics, and all that stuff. But, you know, apparently we're supposed to believe and uh, go along with what they say in some Twitter thread. Tell you, I'm gonna tell you every time. I know execs have, you know, the interest of the company at heart, and they're gonna say some things that may not always be true. But every single time, I'm, when it comes to numbers, I'm going to believe that CFO over you because you're not qualified, bro. You don't have the capacity, okay? You don't have the facilities to tell me that that CFO was wrong and you're right. Because if, if, if that CFO was wrong and you're right, then you would be the CFO and they would be on Twitter. That's it. Let me know what y'all think about here. Peace.